our first chapter is double entry bookkeeping. Accounting system collects, stores and processes financial information and accounting data that is used by the managers. Now one of the most fundamental principles in accounts is the double entry bookkeeping. It is a system of recording accounting transactions that recognizes that there are two sides to every transaction. For a basic example, you go and you buy a watch. So while purchasing it, what coming in is, your, is the watch and what going out is the cash or the money. And therefore both the sides, that is the watch and the money going out, has to be recorded in terms of debit and credit effect. This de debit and credit effect has to be given or recorded in a ledger. Now what is this debit and credit? In basic terms, debit is what is written on the left side of the ledger and credit is written on the right side of the ledger while posting the transactions. Mind that this cannot be interchanged. To understand the debit and credit effect of a transaction, it is crucial to understand the three golden rules of accounting. This is based upon the three accounts that is the personal account, real account and nominal account. Personal account includes transactions relating to individuals, firm or a group of associates. And here the rule says to debit the receiver and credit the giver. For example, you paid rupees 500 for some office supplies to company ABC. Now you will have to debit the company ABC as they are the receiver of the money and credit yourself by crediting your cash account. Real account includes transactions related to assets and liabilities. The rule says for such transactions, you need to debit what comes in and credit what goes out. For instance, you purchase furniture of rupees 2000 in cash. Now what coming in your business is the furniture and thus that will have to be debited. And the cash is going out of the business. So your cash account will be credited. Nominal account, also called as the temporary account. It involves recording of profit and loss transactions. The rule is to debit the expenses and losses and credit the income and gains. Now, for example, you sold goods worth rupees 5000 to company XYZ. Now this is your income. So the cash account will be debited because that is what is coming in and the sales account will be credited because you made a sale and, and it can become overwhelming. However, don't worry, just go through the recording once again and practice as many examples as you can. Cash Transactions What is a capital account? A capital account records the capital introduced in the business by the owner. Moreover, a point to note is that bookkeeping treats business as persons with separate identities from their owners. For example, Rahul is a trader, so all of his business transactions will be recorded as those of business and not as Rahul's own transactions. We will do an exercise for example. For this, you will need to read the transaction and then identify the nature of the account and then give its debit and credit effect. First, Noel pays check into his business bank account as capital. This is a real account transaction and therefore the bank is being debited because it is coming into the account and the capital account is being credited because that represents the reason. Second, purchase some goods for resale and paid by check. This is a mix of nominal account and real account. The bank is being credited because the money is going out. And the reason for which it is going out is because the purchase is happening and therefore the purchase account will be debited and also because the goods are coming into the business. Third, sell some goods and banks the taking. Banks the taking means that the sale amount, the income is coming into the bank and as per the real account rule, debit what comes in, the bank account should be debited and the sales will be credited because the goods are going out of the business. Fourth, pays rent by check. Now as per the nominal account rule, debit the expenses and losses, rent being the expense of the business will be debited. And as per the real account rule, credit what goes out, the bank account will be credited. Fifth, 
purchases shop fittings and pays by check shop fittings is another expense of the business and therefore as per the nominal account rule debit the expenses and losses shop fittings will be debited and there has been a cash outflow by check that represents through bank therefore the bank account will be credited cash is check for personal expenses here we need to understand that the check which noel cashed was for his personal expenses that is the business money has been cashed for noel's personal expenses therefore it will be debited to the drawings account whenever the sole proprietor or the owner of the business he takes out the business capital and use it for his own personal reasons then we call that account as drawings account because he has taken the money out of the business and the check representing the bank representing the bank account will be credited seventh pays wages by check wages is another expense of the business and therefore as the norm, as per the nominal account rule it will be debited and there has been a money outflow and uh, and so as per the real account rule credit would goes out the bank account will be credited eighth return goods to supplier and bank's refund so what is happening here is noel had purchased goods from a supplier and now he is returning it back to him so therefore the account that will be credited would be called as purchase returns and as while returning the goods the money is coming into the business therefore what comes in will be debited therefore the bank account will be debited ninth receives rent from tenant and bank's check so now money is coming in but it is coming in the form of rent so therefore the rent account will be credited because as per the nominal account rule credit all income and gains and rent is a form of income other income you can say and therefore the bank account is the money coming in therefore it will be debited 10th refunds money to customer by check for goods returned now the business has returned the money to the customer therefore the money is going out of the business and so the bank account will be credited customer has returned the goods which are now coming into the business thus the goods will be debited as sales account and note it will never be debited to the sales account it will be debited to the sales returns account 11th motor vehicle purchased and paid by check if you see this transaction is meeting the rules that is real account and nominal account both the purchase of motor vehicle represents an expense to the business but and therefore by the nominal rule it satisfied as debit all expenses and losses but if you see it also satisfies the real account as motor vehicle is one of is an asset and so satisfies the rule debit what comes in moreover uh, by purchasing the motor vehicle there ha there is going to be a cash outflow therefore the bank account will be credited because it has been paid by check 12th pays for petrol for motor vehicle and pays by check now the running motor vehicle cost that can be like petrol license insurance repairs etc will have to you will have to know that it it is not debited to the motor vehicles account but a new account that is motor expenses account is opened to record such transactions therefore that account will be debited by the nominal account rule debit all expense and losses and the the cash outflow is through check therefore the bank account will be credited